Divine favor brings opportunities and exaltation. Esther chapter 2, verse 17. The king loved Esther more than all the other women, and she obtained grace and favor in his sight more than all the virgins. So he set the royal crown upon her head and made her queen instead of Vashti. Think about Esther, an orphaned girl, a Jewish girl, somebody who would not have had any privilege, any access, any opportunity, and even any chance to become queen in the courts of King Ahasuerus. But here, by divine providence, by divine grace, and by divine favor, she makes it to becoming the queen to King Ahasuerus. The favor of God upon her life created opportunities and brought about an exaltation in her life, took her from being a peasant girl to becoming the queen of the land and gave her opportunities that she would never have dreamt of in her life. The one thing that made difference, made all the difference, was the favor of God upon her life. God's favor has not changed over time. In our day, in our age, God still puts His favor on people, on you, on me. Now we must recognize the favor of God on our lives. And we must have faith that because of the favor of God, we will have opportunities, we will have promotion, we will have exaltation, we will have influence and access into places, to people, to resources, to uh, opportunities that we otherwise in our own selves will never have been able to gain. So why don't you pray? Why don't you and I pray and ask the Lord for favor? upon our lives and say, God, put your favor on my life. In your workplace, you ask God for favor. You may be out on a sales call, ask God for favor. You may be applying to uh, higher education colleges and universities, ask God for favor. In various situations of life, you and I can believe God for favor. And God is no respecter of persons. If God was able to intervene in the lives of people that we see in Scripture, put favor on their lives and cause a turnaround of life situations, life experiences, and give them access, opportunities, uh, promotion, He can do the same thing for you and me in our day, in our time. But we must look to Him. We must pray, ask God, believe God for favor, and expect the favor of God to cause opportunities to bring about promotion, to bring about growth and increase in our lives. So in every situation of your life, ask God for favor. You pray. There's nothing wrong in you and me asking God to do what He's done in the lives of other people that we see in Scripture, to do it in our lives, in our circumstances, in our situations. And God, by His favor, will open up doors, will give us opportunities and give us access and bring about promotion and exaltation in our lives. Let's pray. Father, we ask for divine favor upon our lives, that the favor of God will cause divine opportunities and exaltation to come upon our lives. We see your hand at work in Scripture, how your favor made a difference in the lives of people. And we pray that because of your favor, we will see these things happen in our lives also. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.